my name is Alyssa Jackson. I'm the fitness center director at Beltray Senior Living, a Cardon community located in Bloomington, Indiana. And I will be leading our first ever Fit Friday. Um, the exciting thing about this is that you can do it from anywhere. You can do it um, in your home, in your apartment, whatever you need. I've been lucky enough in this building to find a space um, that's secluded where I don't have to wear my face mask um, and that I'll have minimal distractions so that I can focus on providing me with a great workout. Um, a couple of announcements before we get started. I will be doing modifications and progressions. So if something seems a little too easy or a little too difficult, there will be another level or option for you. That being said, I also need to rely on you to be smart and listen to your body. Um, a big thing and benefit of group exercise is being with the individuals and seeing their visual cues to know if something's working or if it's not, if something's too hard, if I need to completely scrap an exercise. And doing it this way, I'm not able to see you. So I need you to listen to your bodies today. Be safe. If you know that your shoulder isn't gonna let you raise that arm all the way up, do what you can or don't do it at all. If your doctor has given you explicit orders to not turn your head, don't turn your head when I do it, okay? I can't see you, um, so I, don't, I won't be able to get that feedback from you. That being said, if you could please leave me comments or suggestions on this video, letting me know maybe what you liked, what you maybe we could work on, maybe what muscle group you would like to learn about or focus on in a future video, that would be great. I want this workout to be for you. I'm not just here to give myself a workout, even though I will be getting a workout. I want this to be for you. So I need your feedback to know what you like and what you need more of. Um, I think those are all of my announcements for today. The only needed equipment that you need for this first workout is yourself. You don't have to have any equipment, but if you would like some extra resistance or extra weight, if you have dumbbells around your apartment or your house, you can use those, or we all have stocked up, or hopefully we've all stocked up on canned goods or bottles of water. So those can easily be substituted in as weights. So again, listen to your body. If you know that maybe you wanna take this first workout and just do no weight, um, just do the movements with your body weight, that's absolutely fine, okay? All right, we're gonna get started. So I always start my classes here with a nice warm up and a reminder about posture. So good posture, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. Shoulders are gonna be down and back, sticking that chest out like we're proud. I'm showing you my new t-shirt, one team, one goal. So we're sticking that chest out like we're nice and proud. We're looking straight ahead, trying to keep our ears stacked over our shoulders. Our shoulders are gonna be stacked over our hips. Our knees stacked over the ankles, okay? It's really easy to try to put your ankles or your feet forward or back. Try to keep the knees stacked over those ankles. And I want your toes to follow the direction of your knees, okay? We might be sitting here like this or like this. Try to keep the toes following the direction of the knees. Now, I'm gonna use a phrase today, and everyone's probably heard it, but they never quite know what it means, and that is to engage your core. <laughs> so, you're gonna pull that belly button in and up. I kinda, I tell my classes to visualize like you're zipping up jeans, like you're trying to fit into those jeans and you're zipping it up, and just stay up at that top. Now, just because we're engaging that core doesn't mean that we're holding our breath. Okay, we should still be breathing throughout this workout. Breathing is good, okay? So we're gonna get started with this nice tall posture. We're gonna warm up from the top down. So we're gonna turn the head side to side, warming up through the neck. Might be a little difficult right now. 
might be a little tight, just do what you can. The biggest component for me with posture is also smiling. So I hope that you're smiling at home while you do this workout. Bring the head back to center and I want you to take the head down and just back up to look at me. Down and back up. Down and back up. Good. Give me two more. Warming up is so important in a workout. Let's move down to the shoulders. We're gonna throw one shoulder back, throw the other shoulder back. Focusing a little bit more on our chest here. Warming up's important because we're gonna get that blood flowing, get that heart rate up a little bit, and just get ready for this workout today. Big safety feature in a workout. Good, maybe add in that arm as we throw that back. Now pick one arm and you're gonna make a big circle with it. Now this might be all that your shoulder health is gonna allow you to do. Maybe we can make that circle even bigger. Maybe even bigger. Now again, if that shoulder health is saying, um, no, your shoulder's talking back to you right now, I'm fine with this. As long as you're warming up the muscles of that shoulder, I'll be happy. And switch to the other side. And maybe during this warm up, maybe this is all of the range of motion you have anyway. Maybe it's gonna get bigger as the workout goes on. All of our movements today will be seated. So you don't need to worry about standing up and down just to have a nice chair available. All right, we've warmed up our shoulders. Let's move on to our midsection. So to warm up the midsection, we're gonna twist, twist. Good. Still sitting up tall. It's really easy with this one to want to just go as fast as you can. I want this to be a nice controlled twist. We will revisit these during the workout, so I want it to look really pretty. Think about you've got a dish rag that you're wringing out. That's your midsection right now. Still breathing. Good. Onto the hips we go. So we're going to alternate our legs. You're gonna lift up and out, up and in. Other leg, up and out, up and in. Left leg, good, right leg. Again. Keep going. I'm hoping when you watch this back, when I say left leg, it actually is my left leg. Mirroring, I've not filmed this before, so I'm wondering if my mirroring will be off. Hopefully it's right. One more. Good, still sitting up tall, I want you to kick those legs forward. Bending and extending at the knee joint. Still sitting up tall, an extra challenge for you today is, to go, is going to be to sit off of that chair back. Trying not to lean back and rest on it. You're gonna engage that core a little more and try to keep that good posture during today's workout. One more each side, good. Now we're gonna go up on our toes, back on our heels. Up on our toes, back on our heels. Warming up through the ankles. So today's workout is gonna be formatted. Um, we're gonna do a couple of exercises that'll be upper body focused, and then we're gonna move into a cardio segment. Um, it'll be 30 seconds of cardio, and you're gonna just do what you can during that 30 seconds. But our lower body, we're gonna sneak in the workouts for the lower body in that cardio segment. And stop, good. All right, we've done our range of motion. Let's um, go ahead and get right into it, okay? So we're gonna start, again, working the upper body. Go ahead and grab your choice of resistance, whether it be a dumbbell, water bottle, 
um, a can of green beans or a can of corn, whatever you need, go ahead and grab that and hold one in each hand. So sitting up tall, everybody ready? Sitting up tall, we're gonna keep our elbows locked at our side, shoulders down and back. You're gonna curl the weight up towards your chest and back down, other arm. Up towards your chest and back down, good. This is the exercise usually when people visualize exercising, this is where their mind goes, to the bicep curl. This focuses on the muscle on the fronts of our arms, right here. Good. Give me four more each side. This is three, three, two, two, last one, last one. Good. Changing up the movement pattern now. So we're going to have our palms are going to face back behind us. And I want you to bring the weight up and then lower it back down. So notice that my wrists are staying nice and straight. Okay. They're staying nice and straight. A lot of times what you're going to see are people trying to just get that weight up really high. I want to see nice straight wrists, strong wrists, focusing on our shoulder work here. So keeping those shoulders down and back as we move. Again, you can alternate these just like we did that bicep curl. Give me two more. Last one. Good. Sit those weights down for just a minute. We are going to be doing some timed cardio. So I'm gonna grab my timer. So for 30 seconds, you are gonna choose your level. So that means you have some options. Okay, so our first cardio segment is a march or a jog. So a march is just gonna look like this, marching in place. You can even add in your arms if you're feeling up for it. A jog, we're gonna pick up that pace and we're gonna run, 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 run in our seated position, okay? So you're either doing the march or you're doing the jog for 30 seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, go. You're picking your level, whatever you need. If you're running, can you be faster than me? Go, 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 go. Good. You're halfway done. Maybe you're, jo maybe you're marching. Maybe you're jogging. You've got 10 more seconds. Give me all you got. Keep going. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Take a moment. Breathe. Turn off that timer there. Okay. We're going to go back to those first two exercises that we did. So grab that resistance. Again, weights, water bottles, whatever you need. This is how it's going to look. So watch me first. You're going to do a bicep curl. Rotate the wrists, upright row. Now, if you're going, huh, ah, I want you to just choose one. So you can choose a bicep curl, you can choose an upright row, or you can combine them and it'll look like this. Curl, row, curl, row. Good. Still have that nice, good posture. Still pulling that belly button up and in. Your shoulders are down and back. Hopefully you still have a smile on your face. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Good. Two more. Last one. Great. Okay, not too bad, right? That's the first third of our workout. We've got two more similar patterns. So sit one of your resistance down. I'm gonna grab the water bottle. One, because I need a drink. And two, because I wanna show you how 
we're gonna use it. So, making sure that lid is on, we move into our second set of exercises. So, holding on to the top and the bottom of the water bottle, you push out and in, out and in. I always start with a basic and then we make it a little more challenging for those of you who are seasoned exercisers. So you can keep it here if you'd like, but there's an option to add a lean in as you're pushing that weight. So what I don't wanna see, I don't wanna see any arching of the back. I wanna see a nice, tall, long and strong spine. Make sure that you're pulling that belly button up and in, shoulders still down and back. Y'all are gonna be saying that in your sleep. <laughs> Good, give me one more. Awesome. Next, we're gonna focus on that abdominal region, what everybody visualizes when I say core. So holding on to that weight or water bottle or canned good, you're gonna twist, twist. Almost like you're gonna sit it down on a bench next to you, but you don't sit it down. You decide, no, I'm gonna move it over here. Now over here. Twisting, twisting, twisting. Still breathing. I'm talking through it. You should be able to as well. Twisting side to side. If you wanna make this just a little bit more challenging, you might be thinking I'm crazy when I say that. Go ahead and kick up a leg as you twist over. Good. Are you breathing? Has your smile faded? <laughs> Good, one more each side. Perfect. Go ahead and set that weight down. We're gonna move into our next cardio segment. So if you take my exercise classes at Bell Trace, you're probably really excited for this next one because they are Seated jumping jacks. So that might scare you because some of you may have not done a jumping jack for several years, okay? But the good news is, is that you can modify it. So options here, you can just pop the legs out, pop the arms out, okay? That's gonna be a level one, legs, arms. If one of your legs or one of your arms says no, do one side switch it up. As long as you're moving during this 30 seconds, I'm happy, okay? It doesn't need to be pretty. Just needs to get your heart rate up, okay? So that's a level one, legs, arms. Level two, legs and arms. Legs and arms, okay? I'm gonna set that timer for 30 seconds. Choose your level. Ready, begin. 30 seconds, choosing your level. Maybe you're doing this full on seated jumping jack, pulling the belly button up and in, staying nice and tall with the spine. Maybe you're taking it easy this first round, doing legs, then arms. Legs, then arms. Maybe you're even doing one at a time. I don't know, as long as you're moving, I'm happy. Wow. 30 seconds done already. How are we feeling? What a habit I have of asking how we're feeling. Hopefully you're commenting right now and saying, I'm feeling great and I'm still smiling. <laughs> okay, we've got one more little mini round of exercises before we move on um, with our Fridays and have a great weekend. So we're gonna focus on our upper back muscles. The upper back muscles are crucial to having good posture, okay? They're often neglected and we work so hard on these, these front muscles get tightened and then we end up having a rounded back. We're gonna work on those upper back muscles to try to maintain good posture, okay? So we're sitting up tall, okay? Long and strong spine, zipped up core. You're gonna squeeze the muscles of your shoulder blades together. Squeeze and relax. I'm gonna try 
to show you. You're gonna squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. I once had a group exercise instructor say, pretend you have a pencil and you're trying to hold it with your shoulder blades, not let it drop. Good, squeezing the shoulder blades together and relaxing. If you want a little help getting this range of motion, you can hold your arms out, open them up, squeeze the shoulder blades together and close. Open and squeeze, close. Open and squeeze, close. Good, keep going. Give me three more, two more. Last one, great. Shake it out on the top. Upper back's probably a little tired. Round it out a little bit. Okay, go ahead and grab your object, um, whether it's that weight, water bottle, whatever. Grab onto that. I'm gonna use this can because it's feeling neglected over there. We just need one. You're gonna hold the top and the bottom, okay? We're gonna work on those shoulders. So, again, if your shoulders right now are freaking out and saying, oh my goodness, I'm not up for any more work today, that's fine. You can modify it best you can. I'll provide those modifications. So we're gonna hold on to that weight and I want you to lift it up, over to the side, down, other side. Up, side. So almost like you're drawing a diamond. Good. Let's give these points numbers, okay? So this is gonna be a one two, three, four, okay? You can either keep your arms extended or punch it out, okay? So one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Good, two, three, four, one, okay? Here we go. Two, three, four, one. What about three, one, four, two? Oh my goodness, right? <laughs> Let's try it. Three, one, four, two. Again, three, one, four, two. All right, now I want you to do two, four, one, three. Two, four, one. Oh, I messed it up. Nope, I didn't. Three. <laughs> the good thing about these combos is that they trick your brain because you can see even I'm getting mixed up right now. And that's good because it's causing our brains to work as well as our muscles. So last little thing I want you to do, we're going to hold on, at least for this section, last thing. Hold on to that can and we're going to make a figure eight in space. Listen to your shoulders. If you need to go down lower, if you need to just take a break right now, you can. We're almost done with today's workout. We've got one more cardio piece. Good, come back. Sit that down. Our next cardio piece, we're gonna do heel taps. So level one, tap, tap alternating heel taps here. Level two, you're just going right into that switch, heel to toe, back and forth. Okay, 30 seconds at your own pace. You can do this slow. You can also pick it up. I will be adding in arms. So if right now you just need to focus on that lower half, that's fine. If you wanna add in that upper body, really get that heart rate up before we cool down today, I'm happy with that too. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock. Choose your level. One, two, three, go. So we're gonna start out with just the feet. If you wanna add in arms, let's go forward. Pushing forward as we alternate those heel taps. This gets a little boring. Maybe <laughs> some of you right now are saying, no, it's not. You're gonna push forward and out forward and out. Still sitting up tall, still smiling. Five, four, three, 
two, one. I snuck in a couple extra seconds on you. Good. Okay, before we cool down, let's just hit those abdominals once more, okay? So pick up a water bottle, a weight, whatever you want. Hold it like so. We're gonna twist side to side once again. But this time, I want you to twist, push out. Twist, push out. This is your last exercise, I promise, and then we cool down. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm sweating. <laughs> I miss teaching exercise classes in person because I usually count that as my workout for the day. Good, come back to start. All right, it's time to cool down. I hope that you feel like you've gotten a great workout. Please leave me comments below and let me know, did something work? Did something not work? Are you confused on a movement? Do I need to talk louder? Do I need to talk slower? Probably. I promise you I'm working on trying to talk slower, but it's not an easy thing to fix. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna cool down, and since we warmed up top to bottom, we're gonna cool down bottom to top, okay? So, one leg out, rotate through that ankle. Nice big circles with the ankle. Switch directions. Try to take nice deep breaths as we cool down today. I'm not so concerned with your posture, so if you want to sit back on that chair or relax your shoulders a little bit, you can. Switch feet. Again, as big of circles as you feel comfortable making. Switch directions. Great. Okay, I'm going to have you scoot back out on the edge of your seat again. One heel plants down in the ground and I want you to Lean forward towards that toe and come back up. This is a dynamic stretch to stretch out the back of the hamstring. Or the back of the leg, which is the hamstring. <laughs> Good, one more. Other leg, so that other foot plants, that heel plants, toes pointed towards the ceiling, we lean down. Is one leg maybe um, tighter than another? A little bit more difficult to stretch. Two more. Last one. Great. Open up those legs a little bit, okay? So knees are pointing out, toes are pointing out. I want you to just kind of hinge forward at your hips. Still have a strong spine, resting the forearms here. You might start feeling a little bit of a stretch in your hip flexor region right here. If you're feeling fine, you don't feel like your heart rate's still too high, I want you to lower down, dropping the head. And relaxing. If you'd like to put your hands on the ground, you can. And then you're gonna slowly roll up, stacking one vertebrae of the spine on another until finally your head's back up. You're looking at me, I'm smiling at you, you're smiling at me. Good, let's do a slight twist side to side. Doesn't have to be as fast or as controlled as the ones we did during the workout. Good, you can walk your feet back in if you'd like. Pick one side, and I want you to twist over as far as you can. As we're stretching and cooling down, it's okay to feel a little discomfort, but I do not want you to feel pain. If you feel pain, back off that stretch. And switch to the other side. Taking nice deep breaths. Coming back to center. Good. What I want you to do now, arms come forward. Open them up. 
Open up towards the sky, spreading through that chest. Round out through the back. Round out. Open it up again. Round out. And down. Again, we're gonna take our head side to side. If you'd like to do a little half circle here, bringing shoulder and ear together, you can. Dropping the head forward side to side. And coming up. Oh, hopefully you feel cooled down. If your heart rate's still a little elevated, or you think you need to just sit for a minute, feel free. I always end my classes at Bell Trace with three deep breaths. And during this time, I know we all hold in a lot of fear and a lot of frustration. And so I want you to utilize these stretches to just let them all out. Use these breaths to just get them out of your body, okay? So as we inhale, I just want you to really take in all the air around you, breathe everything in, get as tall as you can. And as you exhale, we're gonna throw our arms out to the side, all of our fears, frustrations, they're leaving our bodies, okay? So three deep breaths, here we go. Number one, inhale. And exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Let me, well, I can't hear you breathe, but let yourself hear yourself breathe. Hear those frustrations leaving your body. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, please, please, please leave me comments. Let me know what muscle groups you want to focus on. Um, maybe if there's a way I can modify something for you. Um, what do you want to see in these videos? What do we, what would you like to work on? Okay. I want that feedback because again, this class is for you. Thank you so much, um, for taking this class. I truly enjoyed doing this. This is kind of my outlet, um, for getting any of my stress and fears out. So thank you for watching this and letting me do that. Um, I hope you have a great Friday and I'll see you next week.